This is the Duck there, continuing the Long War playthrough. I just got done researching uh, Advanced Aerospace and it unlocked some of the best Interceptor upgrades. Unfortunately, they are all monstrously expensive. So, Armored Fighters, for instance, just look at the cost 95 alloys. That's more than half my stock of alloys. And 400 credits plus 20 mil, not exactly cheap, but it does really boost survivability of Interceptors. Um, Wingtix. Wingtip Sparrowhawks adds a significant amount of DPS, uh, but look at the cost of, of this project, 50 meld. Penetrator weapon is also very good. I think this is actually really great with laser cannons since they fire fast but have low penetration. Boosting penetration is really nice, so I'm definitely going to go for that one. UFO countermeasures unlock with Seeker Autopsy, but can't really afford it right now. Improving Vionics is also pretty nice. It's actually reasonably cheap because it doesn't cost the monstrous amounts of alloys or mel. Just three flight computers and some weapons fragment, but I'm gonna go for armor fighters. And I could sell off some more stuff to try to get one of these, but the fact of the matter is, the boys down in the I'm starting to run out of stuff to I'll sell. Let them know you've got another project ready for um, production. Alien alloys is down to 60 basically. Can't sell the meld right now. I, I mean, I actually need some of these. I could sell off some of the power sources if I had to, but even selling off all three would not allow me to get anything. I'm running out of corpses to sell. Basically, I have to sell Illyrium. I don't think that's a good idea because things will start to cost a lot of Illyrium. So for now, I'm going to be content with those upgrades. So I just want to point out, the Interceptor upgrades will allow me to finally take control of the skies. Like, with these upgrades, I plan to get Africa by the end of August. I can't get it now because I don't have any money, but at the beginning of August I'm going to plan to build two satellite uplinks and then I'm going to launch uh, three satellites over Africa. The money isn't really significant from the council funding. What is significant is it should allow me to detect more UFOs and allow me to just um, have more opportunities at salvage and that's really the key here. Too bad I can't get Asia um, it's just not realistic, so... So yeah, uh, I'm gonna pause the video here until I get to an interesting mission. This is the Duck there bringing you the first terror mission of July. I think there may be a second terror mission. This one actually targeted Australia and not India. So it looks like the aliens are pouring every resource into conquering Asia, which is interesting. And of course, in Beta 13, you can have spawns right at DLZ. That one, someone somehow, rather, has low cover. You can see the Thin Man there and two more up top. This is the beauty of the Goliath ship. In cases like this, I might as well shoot once with you, aggro the pod, or sometimes I can Alpha Strike. He's down. Ugh, thin Man on the roof. Never a good sign, but not too much to be done. Well, I could actually just reposition that soldier, but I could have known that at the time. This can hold four. The alloy shiv, one, two here. Let me move the soldier out. Let's see, That's you, you're my most expendable soldier. I see. Okay. Okay. I can actually do this. That makes a lot of sense. Aye, aye, Commander. On my way. Oh, what am I doing? Misclick. Head now. I'll probably have to hunker you. Both of them, actually. Not a good idea to fight thin men when they have the height advantage. Low profile will help. Moving to position. To that location. Brought plenty of anti-robotic uh, units because robots seem especially common on terror missions Come for some reason. Yeah. Cyberdisc. Mactoid. Yeah, it's a good thing I brought tons of anti-robotic. And another cyberdisc. I'm guessing the last pack is chrysalids. Somehow it missed my Goliath ship. What is with that particular ship? Why is it like so? 
resistant. Okay, I know where the Athen Man is, but very risky to move out without a plan. Especially, obviously, we want to kill this alien. Can't let the Thin Man stay on the roof. That's really bad. Heading to that location. Uh huh. Guessing, oh, you have sight on both? Nice. Very nice. Does anyone have hollow targeting? Not really. Moving to position. I do have two dense smokes, but I don't think this is quite the time to use it. Mm, that's actually really good. X-ray neutralized. Very nice. Since I have my Rocketeer unavailable, what That's I'm going to do is spend this turn again redeploying. I affirmative. The assault to the middle. Position confirmed. I think I can start moving up the ship. Alright. Watch! find the various robots and annihilate them with my anti-robotic uh, firepower. I don't hear chrysalids. It's interesting. It is possible, I was shocked, but it is possible for a terror mission to spawn without robots. You see, with my crazy good aim, the spread on the rocket is minimal. Wow, I actually can hit the Cyberdus from here. Goliath Shiv can take damage. Oh, you don't have line of sight from here, really? That's odd. I'm sure I can move here without triggering Overwatch, but don't really do that much damage. With the infantry, I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. Oh, let's make the obvious move. Blow this stuff. Huh? There's a million there. There is. Is there any way I can do this without killing a civilian? I would rather. Like, save as many as possible. Hmm. Maybe I just have to use a normal rocket? Just to do some damage to it without shredding it? Looks like that's gonna be what has to happen. I can kill these two drones. It's pretty easy. Hmm. Unfortunately, that didn't really do much damage. Okay. That's fine. I can live with that. Chance to hit isn't great, but I can do anything else with you. Negative damage. Cyberdisc could definitely flank this position. Headed there this now. is the smartest place to move to. So I can just shoot one of these drones down. X-ray down. Yes, Commander. Yes, killing the other drone. Makes sense. X-ray neutralized. Rounds. That rocket was kind of a waste. This position can be flanked. That's affirmative. On my way. Overwatch. Aye aye. Got it covered. Got it covered. Let's see what Cyberdis does. Is it running? Is. That's unfortunate. I can't really chase it. Alright, we're gonna have to let that cyber just go for now. Well, 
Let us move up to this region. There's a nice kill zone and some cover here. I can also move to the right. I suppose there is also a decent amount of cover in some close quarters combat potential. And I have a Rocketeer position pretty well. My worry is that that truck blocks my line of fire in case like mech toys show up in the middle there. But if I go this way, I have a chance to chase down the cyber disk. And I can solve the rocket problem by moving my rocket tier up. That's not really smart, though. Uh, better go to the left. I think it's safer. Clear out this flank and then proceed into the building. There are plenty of civilians to save you here anyway, so. sense plus my sniper is there let's take a look keep someone on the right as a lookout for that cyber disc just in case it can come around and like flank some of my soldiers but yeah, I don't think you can do it from this it'd be too far away to attack here on the move Positive enemy contacts. Hmm. That's not good. Really wasn't hoping to trigger anything else right now. Okay. But, uh, we can live with that. That's susceptible. Reloaded. Have a plan. In case things go poorly, always have a plan. Plan one protect units with dense smoke. Make sure I try to get everyone. Nah, that's not gonna get the medic. This should get everyone, I think. Well, it's more critical that I make sure the shiv and the, the gunner, since they're the ones who are actually killing the mechdoid. Get the buff. Why be? I definitely want to transfer the rocketeer over. I may need a shredder. On that mechtoid. Don't think you can fire a there. there. Because if it gets shield, I'll need a shredder to bust through that shield. And this position should Solid be protected. Copy. Reloaded. Position confirmed. I'm ready. Hmm. I'm on the move. Two. All right, that mechtoy is really, really likely to charge, and I will shoot it. It charges at me. Is there yet another mechtoy? So two mechtoys and two, two cyberdis. Whoa, cyberdis is flying on the roof. That's a really good move. At least the mechtoy is making a predictable move. Yes, that's what I was worried about. But I have no fear. I have no fear. Mechtoy is not nearly as invincible as it may appear. Step one. Shred the damn thing. Boom. Now this is gonna hurt. Ah, civilian got shredded. Fine. You can see the amount of DR this thing has, but it scarcely matters once I bust through that shield. Let's see, do I have hollow targeting? Unfortunately, no. Which one's more accurate? Ooh, this guy's accurate. Hmm, that's interesting. Do you not have heat ammo? You do? Really? And you did, like, no damage through shredding? That's shocking. You must have rolled, like, the absolute worst possible rolls. There we go, that's more like it. Hmm, this Spectoy seems surprisingly resistant for some reason. That's a problem. I really expected it to die by this point. I really, really did expect it to die already. 
Damn. There's also that cyber that's on the roof. You can't forget about him. Well, this is a problem. Hmm. I don't think I can kill it. Really, really expected that mechtoid to die. This is super bad now. I think I can manage a shot from here, but I need someone to draw out the Overwatch. And I sort of already used the shiv. I think the next best candidate is the assault. If I run and gun here. Might be able to flank. I can run a gun here. Or actually, I can just run a gun like all the way up close to make sure I actually hit. And it protects me from the cyber disc. That makes sense. Mechtoid can do up to like 11 damage. I can survive that. But I have dense smoke protecting me plus a dash. I should have really, really good damage. So that's why I'm willing to make this move. Probably won't kill it, but well, then again, sometimes you get lucky. I don't know how you did so much damage while the rest of, you know, the soldiers just sitting around doing nothing really. All right, cyber this. What's it gonna be? Think I'm gonna start moving some soldiers up there. Gonna start saving some civilians. Yeah, there's a second mech toy. Don't know what that cyber disc is doing. They're falling back! Sector toy didn't even shoot at the civilian? Okay. Like, that's perfectly fine with me. Hmm. Can I get up to the roof somehow? It seem like it. Well, that side of this is gonna become a bigger problem than I had anticipated. Okay. It's not bad, but. Surely I could do better than 58. Hollow targeting, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna I'm have to move here. Go on, head to the ship. Ugh, it's even worse. Okay, I'm gonna pick away at it with my sniper. And I got lucky got and killed it. That works. Where is that cyber disc? Back to it's probably around back. Don't group your people up. Cyberdisks have a spinning death attack thing move. that can like AoE damage for 13, 14 move. health. So I wasn't aware that was in cover. So you gotta be careful. All in ass. Okay, Cyberdisk is on the roof there. Mm, this is my officer. You're too valuable to sacrifice. Running. Scanning. Roger that. Scanning. Hmm. Where could the cyberdis be? Already there. Let's position my gunner here. <laughs> hmm. Many civilians dying, and the cyberdis is not coming off the roof. Great. Shut up. Listen. Looks like Australia is going to go join the aliens soon enough. It's very unfortunate. How do you get up there? Okay, there's stairs back here, but I can't exactly move up into no cover against a cyber disc. That's there's, you know, bowed, and then there's literally suicidal. 
back to where he could be back there, though. Mm, I don't like spreading my forces so thin. Oh! Those are three civilians over there? Hmm. Mm. Alright. Well, Mechdoid's obviously in the fog somewhere. I think I should proceed along this way. I really hope the cyber just come down. There are plenty of civilians to save here if I can get to them. I think there's like one back here, but realistically he's not getting saved. We'll keep a soldier in here. Sort of a lookout. And yeah, that sounds like a plan. Uh, better move like the rocketeer here. That's affirmative. Yes, well, I'm not gonna move out too quickly. Moving out. Move the shiv. And, uh, and the um, gunner through the building should be fairly Moving safe. Out. Here. It's as safe as they can reasonably expect to be on a terror mission. Oh, actually, 666, how about that? They didn't notice that done now. We're green to go. Where is that cyber disk? Time to move. Keep my forces semi spread out. Affirmative. Moving out. Hidden. Got it covered. Aye, aye, Commander. I think there's also a pot of secrets. Or maybe, or, you know, the second cyber this. I think I heard something. Okay, that's where the cyber this is. I just need to know, and it's not in any sort of flanking position. It can throw a grenade, it can shoot me for a lot of damage. But what it can't do is surprise me with its death blossom attack thing. All right, Cyberdisc, your days are finally numbered. Wow, look at that aim. I don't want to risk moving and not getting, like, line of sight to it, so I can just shoot now. Not bad. Eight damage. Thought it would be higher, honestly. Huh. The trees doing really the same. Job. Green to go. It's kind of bad for you, Gunner. Like, you need to shape up. Looks like a civilian there, but I can't risk moving there without triggering enemies yet. Position you by the door, but as for you, you could definitely move here pretty safely. But you never know, so I'll move. move up here first. Are there any civilians in here? Maybe. Um, the mechtoid is likely back there. They could approach from a number of directions. Good to go. Keep my officer in the middle, sort of safe-ish for now. Ready to engage. I think I'll just reload. Honestly. I need to bring the shiv up. I'll park it in the middle to support either advance. On the move. Here, here, in case it's needed. Start moving Order the sniper. Confirmed. Moving out. Oh, oh there's a friend back there? I didn't know that. I would have saved him. Ugh, is he gone? Great. Well, opening this door is now a bad idea. There are three civilians over here. Should try, probably try to get some troops in I'm position. To support uh, saving them. I'm on it, Commander. Next turn, I could potentially get two of them if I position them. 
there, and then another one can get saved by the shiv. That seems wise. This should do the trick. I feel, Commander. Hmm, where do I position Roger that. Keep you in the middle for now. Ready to rock. Roger that. <laughs> yes, there's another cyberdish and another mechtoid. Quiet. Here's in the alleyway, as I suspected. There are three civilians here who we can save. That's pretty awesome. Rolling. Enemy troops! Uh huh. Go, get out of here. Oh, right. They go on Overwatch. Cover the flanks. Well, I really hope this draws out the Overwatch. No? Damn. This is gonna suck. Here, I might just be out of sight radius. Heading there now. Ugh, it was worth an attempt. That assault. Fortunately, I gave him alloy plating, so um, he's going to be in the hospital for more like uh, ten days as opposed to thirty. Don't want him to die. The assault is too valuable. As long as I smoke him, he should be fine. Smokes up. With the 40 defense from dense smoke plus the 30 from the low cover. I think the mech toy actually might just kill the civilian, which is perfectly acceptable. I'm on the move. Got it covered. That was very unfortunate. Not too much I could have done about it, honestly. Roger that. Well, my gunner. Abandoned his position with Roger Dodger. Engineer, move her into position to throw a grenade potentially as a support, and of course, position. move here and get ready to shred a rocket. I think I'm gonna have to move you up, commander. otherwise you can't get line of sight. This is why scouts are useful to draw Overwatch. I was hoping the glide ship would trigger um, the. Overwatch on that uh, monstrosity over there, but no such luck. So we're watching. Okay. No! At least it didn't shield a mechtoid. Looks like I did not do a very good job at all on this mission of saving civilians. Uh, what can you do? Firing rocket. That's more like it. That's more like it. All right, that's the amount of damage I should be seeing. Uh, now that that thing's taken care of, the rest is just my Roger life. that. I might as well double heal you because. Moving. Oh, this is the gunner. What am I doing? The uh, cyberdis is back there somewhere. I just, I mean, with the one civilian left. Okay. It's kind of a shame, but not too much to be done. Good as new. Killing the sectoid is. Um, just do this sort of elegantly. Flank it next move. turn. I feel, Commander. Hmm. Yes, cyber disc could be in the alleyway, but I can take a cyber disc. Position confirmed. Or I could just kill him right now. Nope. 
Anything. I mean, there are suboptimal moves, and then there's that. Is that a civilian over there? I have no idea where the last civilian on this map is. fog there. Whatever the case is, the cyber disk must be in this area. In fact, I have a suspicion it's behind that truck. So, looks like we're going to be we'll going build. all the way back to the other end again. Roger that. Scanning. Aye, aye, Commander. Moving to Overwatch. This is not a very successful Terran mission at all. On the move. Stepping up. Don't want to send someone onto the roof. Bad idea against the cyber disk. Heading to that location. Roger, I've got my eyes on. On my way. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna pause the video until I find the cyber disk. There's nothing to say, really. Alright, I finally found the last cyber disk. Um, apparently it wasn't hiding behind the truck, it was hiding the alleyway. Uh, this is not difficult. Lure them in by hunkering down. Position my forces for an overwatch ambush. Position my rocketeer here. Just hope it doesn't fly up under the roof. That would be a problem. Orders Anything else? I can't really fail with the amount of anti-robotic firepower I brought. I am a little worried about it running through here, though. That would be a good move by the AI. Park my officer aye, aye, here. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Put my assault here. Headed there now. Seems as good of a Move position for now. <laughs> wow, that drone is really flying very high there. Where is that cyber disc? Why are cyber just so good at hiding now? Well, this is just too good of a shot to pass up. Got him. I'm gonna use the shiv basically as a scout. I think it must have flown up to the roof. That's the only place that makes sense. Right Metal scanners? I don't think I do. Great. Time to motor. Next turn, I may run an assault up there just to see what exactly is going up on up on that roof. I feel, Commander. But for now. On my way. Roger, got my eyes on it. No, it's in the alley. Good. Grenade? It's not gonna bother to shift too much, and my assault will live. Shiv is basically completely unbothered by it. Get that hit percent. 68 percent crit. It's pretty Roger awesome. That. Can't pass this up. Oh, I didn't crit it. Hmm. Could that 
burn down? Very possibly. I might actually want to suppress it. Because I don't think I can kill it this turn unless... I'm on the move. Yeah, I don't have line of sight. Okay. I don't have watch. It actually makes quite a bit of sense to suppress it. Next turn I can throw grenades, I can do all sorts of stuff. Location confirmed. Might as well actually heal you. Oh wait, I uh, did that. Uh, it also threw its grenade. Why am I climbing up to the roof just to do this? Pathing in this game can sometimes be the most confusing. That guy wants to get a workout, basically. Um, yeah, so I'll suppress. If it moves, I get the opportunist overwatch on it, which is uh, basically the same as taking a shot and just spend one more ammo. Understood. Moving out. I feel, Commander. Okay, did that. That's perfectly fine. I could actually suppress it, but... No. Because... Can't overwatch through that door. Boom. Oh, did it live? Close encounters for the win. Did it live again? Whoa, okay, okay. Little Cyberdis, you impressed me greatly. Uh was not quite expected. I may actually need a grenade to finish this. That's kind of a shame. I really would like a cyber disc wreck. Oh, uh, let me see. Can I get line of sight on him? It's kind of really iffy through that door, but if I move here, maybe I'm I can rolling. get line of sight? Yes. Okay, I have an 88% chance. Not bad. Dead and gone. Excellent. All right. All Fortunately, I only saved eight out of 18 civilians. Note this terror mission had no chrysalids, but tons and tons of robots. Oh boy, Australia is gonna go the way of the aliens, aren't they? And he was only wounded for 10 days because of the alloy plating. Still, would have been nice to have a scout there. Look at all these alloys. You can, if you don't blow up robots, they can give tons of alloys. Just look at this. 23, that's like the small scout I'm going to raid next is going to give the same amount. So, pretty awesome. Something to keep in mind. Jeez. We will be in touch, Commander. Well, Australia is like one bar away from going over. They were at two bars and now they are basically going to defect. Great. That's lovely. Alright, thank you for watching.